Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well. Sorry for the out of breath. I've literally just ran up the stairs to go grab this camera and bring you back upstairs. I am, um, as you can tell, lights are on and I'm gonna go to the Trafford Centre today. What better way to go to the Trafford Centre when it's dark, miserable, wet outside, hence the lights on and it's literally been tipping it down. I have a brand campaign, which is kind of like garden suited. Um, I just simply can't film. I've checked the weather forecast. It says 100% rain all day today. Tomorrow is wet as well. And potentially the day after that as well. So anyway, I thought what better time to head to the traffic centre. I'm hoping that not everyone has that same idea. <laughs> and it is a weekday. So hopefully it will be a bit quieter. But... I wanted to head to the new Sephora that's opened at the traffic centre and definitely glad I didn't um, head down during the manic chaotic opening couple of days because I was looking at the socials and it was just queues and queues and queues of people. Even Tom went a couple of days after it opened and he said there was probably about 300 people in the queue still and that was just after the opening. So I'm just praying that it's not like that today. And I am gonna get there nice and early. Um, so it opens in half now. I'm gonna head over now. I'm also gonna to go to Costco Watson there because I need to pick up a couple of top ups of things like toilet roll, little bits. So I might take you there as well. We'll see where we go. I've got a hen do coming up. So I might pop into Zara and see if there's anything new in that I wanna maybe take with me for outfits wise for that hen do, which is over a few days. And yeah, we're all good to go. I wanted to show you my perfume that I've been wearing lately, especially on a day like today where it is a bit moody or an evening. The Tamine or Thamine, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. I've always said Thamine, but my friend says Tamine. So it's throwing me off. So maybe it's Tamine, I'm not sure. But this is their scent in carved oud. So it's, like I said, nice and oudy and deep and musky and I love it, but when you've got freshly washed hair, oh, it doesn't have to be freshly washed, but when I have this perfume on, I like to pop that hair fragrance on. It's got keratin in it as well. And this one is the same scent, carved oud. So obviously it works well with the perfume. And I just put a few spritz of that in the ends of my hair. So yeah, I love that. Anyway, we're gonna get on the road. I feel like I've been wearing this outfit on repeat. It's the Uniqlo built-in bra. Um, racer tops which I actually bought a couple more of because I love it that much and some cream jeans these are old from Everlane they have similar but um, I have some similar options linked on my LTK if you wanted to see some alternatives which I'll leave my LTK down below and then because it is raining but it's not cold I feel like I need something I might pop on a blazer maybe do we go with a little Zara green one I like my uniform, honestly. I have a house uniform for when I'm working from home, which usually involves comfies, Lululemon leggings, that kind of thing, joggers. And then I have a work outfit for like, if I'm popping out to uh, like the traffic center or town, I'm like, yeah, just blazer, tea. It's just simple, simple. Let me turn the light off so you can see true representation look how dark it is it's so dark so you can see a bit of a better sort of color of this blazer it's quite old but they have similar on zara so yeah i'm excited to see there's a couple of things online that i've seen on zara that i want to maybe oh, my phone, uh, get my hands on in terms of heels so i'm hoping they have them installed so that i can try them on and see how they fit but for one of the nights for our hindu it's like sparkly so yeah we'll see what they have in but if not even just some nice sparkly shoes uh could be a good option so we will go we'll have a look i think bag of choice i'm going to take a crossbody because i like to be hands free and i'm feeling incredibly inspired having had my color analysis done uh not too long ago which if you saw my last vlog you will have seen hold on i need to sneeze Yeah, I'm feeling incredibly inspired to get some cool toned makeup products from Sephora. A couple of beauty bits. 
Maybe even some travel bits as well because the hen do is abroad. Maybe pick up some minis if they've got some and it'll give me a chance to test some new bits out. But yeah, we've got a little day strap that I like to switch out from this one that comes with the bag. And there we have it. I feel like I might be a bit warm. Just when it's so miserable and raining outside, it feels uh, too foreign to be going out in just a little vest top. <laughs> but anyway, I'm having a little outfit of the day today and I'm just gonna pop on some trainers. Which ones are we gonna go for? My beiges are quite comfy. My chunky beiges, these ones, so I might wear them. Change of plan, we're gonna brave it with Birkenstocks despite the rain. <laughs> might regret this choice. But I feel like the green in these ones, the kind of like taupe color. Works really well with the blazer, so. And also, I feel like I'm gonna be a bit too hot, so. It'll help keep me a little bit cooler if I'm wearing my Birkenstocks. Don't need someone to save me. No. And don't come running to blame me. Mm. From miles away, I can tell that something's off. The way you look and how you pause when you talk. I think you said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. So thinking ahead to my sparkle night, these could be a good option if I wanted to go for like jeans and a tee. If you can see it on the light there, they're super, super pretty. These ones are, let's have a look, 69.99 that one. Might be a bit too warm for jeans because I think it's still gonna be like 25 to 30 degrees, so. Um, but it is an option. And then these shoes as well, so, so gorgeous. They've got quite a few different styles with glitzy bits on, so I might have a bit of a try on and see which ones I like and maybe treat myself to a new pair of shoes, because obviously you can re-wear these time and time again. Um, they're quite wearable, despite them being quite sparkly. Yeah, it's so pretty. These are the other two options. Um, I'll leave both linked, but I think the heel height on these are quite a bit more and also I feel like my foot's slipping out of them a little bit so I think I'm going to go with the other ones but these are so honestly so so pretty definitely going to buy these shoes absolutely love them and nice low heel height for me and yeah nice and comfy they stay on really well so so pretty and can definitely re-wear them and then i would never have thought to pick up a like gray dress like this for sparkly night but having done my colors with um like my color analysis and this color kind of suiting me i thought i'm gonna give it a go we'll try it on i have got this bag as well but i think then that's a bit too much so if i don't like the dress i'm thinking maybe if i get the bag and the shoes and then maybe just wear like a simple dress and that'd be my glitz. There's a really nice sparkly like glitzy dress like with just a little touch of sequin which I wanted to try on halter neck. So so pretty but it is bright white and I don't know if it's a bit too bridal seems as though I'm not the hen on the hen do you know. So we'll try this one on anyway and we'll see what we think. So no to the dress I feel like it's a bit too skimpy and scratchy for me i can feel it scratch under my arms a little bit and i feel like that might annoy me but otherwise i think it's just because it's mini i'm not used to mini it's like short and low um so i think i'm gonna leave the dress on this occasion just come into pull and bear and i'm just trying on this dress as an option i've just popped on the heels and bag with it as well just so i can see what it looks like as an outfit. I love it, but it's just a little too short for me. I feel like, oh, maybe I'm just lacking the confidence, but it just feels like if I bend down, the dress is up. So yeah, I just wish it was just that little, literally just a couple of inches longer, like to there, and I'd be fine. But it's just, it's just too short, unfortunately. It's such a pretty color. And again, with my colorings, gone for more of like past i mean it's very warm the lights in here but more like pastel yellows as opposed to like a bright yellow like a neon yellow so yeah oh i was torn but i think 
talking it through, I'm thinking it's too short. But I like how it's not tight at the bottom, can you see? This is a large as well, so I can't size up anymore. It, it doesn't go any longer, it's just, uh, just too short. You can see it ahead and there's no queue, which is good for me. sandals are in the sale but just the colors like the old season colors so I'm gonna try on these ones I think oh you really do forget how miserable it could be outside when you're in the traffic center it's just like a world of its own it's the same though if it's really hot outside you just can't tell when you're in there Anyway, we are out. I am, oh, my back balance is not liking me today because I bought quite a few bits. I'll show you everything that I got when I get home. But I think just before we head home, I'm gonna pop over the road to the Costco. And there is also, I think, oh, I didn't realize that they're waiting to park here. Oops, <laughs> got out my vlogging camera. Someone was just parked up waiting. They've driven past now though. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to head over to Costco first. Although there is a Starbucks on route, I was thinking I need something. It's 12, well, it's quarter past 12. I haven't had a coffee or anything yet today, so I'm feeling like I maybe need a drink to have in hand whilst roaming around Costco. So we'll do that first. But this weather, oh, it's literally worlds apart from what it was last week, two weeks ago. And we did a minute silence actually in there because it was the anniversary of the Manchester attack, the arena. And it was the most bizarre, like quite a moving thing as you're walking around a busy shopping centre to all of a sudden everybody just stopped, stood still and was just silent. There was no music, everyone was frozen. It was almost like a glitch in the system, a bit like Truman Show, you know, you just, the place that you'd least expect to have everybody freeze is a busy shopping centre like that. Um, but yeah, it's the anniversary today. I couldn't work out, I was talking to a couple of girls on the stand that I was at at the time, um, after the minute silence. I'm trying to figure out how many years it's been. I don't know, I don't know. Hi, we're gonna get for you. Hi, please can I get a, a decaf cortado? Cortado, yeah. I think that's it, thank you. That's everything, yeah? Yeah, thank you. I couldn't decide whether or not to get a bite to eat for lunch, but I'm trying to, trying to be good. There's nothing really here that's, it's just like a, well, I'd just have a cheese toasty, I think. I could get a cheese toast. <laughs> what I'm not going to do, though, is have a piece of Costco pizza, as they are, they are naughty. I always say everything in moderation, but I have more of a sweet tooth, so I would rather be healthy, savoury, and then not cut out like chocolate. You know, just have, even if it's just one chocolate biscuit with a coffee, just just something. But just ahead of the hen doing the uh, wedding, I feel like I could just benefit from toning up a little bit. I went for a run the other day, which felt really good, even though it was warm. Well, I've been for two runs this week, actually. Um, I did a bit of yoga yesterday as well. I'm trying to do 10,000 steps a day. And we're feeling good for it. We are feeling good. So I think if I keep this up, then I'll be able to just drop a couple of pounds ahead of the wedding. Not Nothing drastic, just feel a bit stronger. Especially with a Hindu being abroad. I'm like, swimsuits. It's been a while. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Yeah, card? Uh, card, please. Thanks a lot. Bye. Time for Costco. This 
always such a sharp turnout of this Starbucks. Ugh. We're out. <laughs> we made it. I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. You need to get away. It's time we make it. These look interesting, but they are huge. Sandalwood and bergamot, amber and vanilla. But they've not got any testers, which I was hoping to give them a smell. But they are home fragrances and they're a litre. So, yeah, huge. Mushroom crisps are back. I'm not going to get a pack just because I do eat way too much. <laughs> Um, but yeah, really yummy. And they've got these as well. Again, if you're a truffle fan, they're very delicious. Quite sickly, quite full on, quite intense, just like the mushroom ones are. But um, nice for like when you've got guests over or something to pop in a bowl. But again, I'm going to resist for today. Oh my goodness. I'm drenched. I don't look too bad, but I feel, I feel wet through. It is just not stopping there's no break when you come out of the shop and you think oh do i wait for it to die down it ain't dying down anyway we've got a cart full of stuff now can you see people are got tree toilet roll purchase and look at that back seat guys Ooh. so i started akata court of what's it called court of thorns and roses and i post a little story on my instagram actually and a few of you were saying oh my god it's the best thing ever best thing ever and that's kind of what i keep hearing is the hype the hype the hype and i thought i don't know if i'm gonna like it fantasy it's not my thing so i just bought the first book and then i'm about eight or nine chapters in and um i think i'm gonna stick with it i think i'm gonna stick with it because i have been enjoying it I'm not like obsessed with it or anything um, and I'm only sort of like I say eight or nine chapters in so very near the start initially I thought this just sounds too complicated for me when I want to read I want to just escape take it easy have a bit of a page turner thriller type book and I thought oh, all these different like characters and fantasy and a fantasy a typical fantasy novel I just thought it's gonna be too complex for my little brain um but I'm, I'm getting it and i'm following it and i am enjoying it and also a lot of you have said stick with it because book two and onwards it then gets better book one is basically a lot of world building with it being a fantasy genre so i'm sticking with it so what i've done is i bought they were 29.99 for the box set so do we call the box set of, of books a box set so yeah we've got them all there so i'm committed now <laughs> i am committed it's going to be a lot of reading especially for me with being a slow reader but i thought rather than buy each individual book it probably works out a bit cheaper if i just buy that for 29.99 and i can just obviously donate the um the one that i'm currently reading just the first book do i head home or do i go to tk Maxx? which is a driveway it's like an exit off the motorway so i would have to drive there anyway should we have a little look in TK Maxx? I can't resist TK Maxx. There used to be a home sense here, but it is officially closed down. Officially. So maybe we should just take a trip to TK Maxx and hope that they've been delivered a load of really good stock from the home sense closing now. Yeah, let's do that. I've talked myself into it. Put your trust in me. We'll work it out, you'll see. If we get in a car and drive someplace far.
we are back home. I always feel like I miss Barney when I get back home and he's not here. Yeah, he's at daycare, probably having the best time ever. And definitely a good day to pop him in daycare with it being, with it chucking it down, but yes. Okay, let me bring the things in. I'm gonna show you all the bits that I bought. There's quite a bit though, so buckle up. Get a coffee if you're already out of coffee or tea, whatever it is that you decide to have. And I'll start with the Costco bits because I need to put some bits in the fridge. So as you saw in the car, I did decide to go for the, the um, set of books from um, the Akatar series. I also picked up a salad, which I need to pop in the fridge. It's gonna be my dinner for tonight. Look at the size of that burrata. It is, well, the salad itself is huge, uh, 5.99 for that. Then they now have this tuna. If you've not heard me talk about this one before, you can usually get them at like garden centers, like usually really expensive. Um, I remember like a little pot like this was about eight pounds or something. So think how many you get in there, and this whole thing was 13 pounds. So I decided to get that. A good old block of Lur Pack. Our cookies that we like to get, although the packaging has changed. Oh, here we go, yeah, same recipe, new look, so it is the same people um, from the London Dough Company. We just, they, they keep them in the fridge section. You can just pop them straight in the oven to have fresh cookies. But we actually just keep them in the freezer so that they're good for ages and just cook them from frozen. Then I picked up some apple tizer just to pop in the drinks fridge. And I also got some more of the ginger shots that they do. And then last but not least, for Barney, I <laughs> got him this toy. It's been a while since I've got him a new toy and this kind of burrowing toy is his favorite kind of toy. He will literally play with this by himself. He rarely plays with his toys, but these he loves. So it's the biggest one he's ever had. So I'm gonna shovel the dinosaurs back in there and then he just basically has to get them all out. So yeah, when I saw this and you know, he is called Barney and he is a friendly dinosaur. So that is it for him. Oh, that's better. We're in our comfies now. You can hear the rain on the roof, which is actually really cozy. Coffee in hand. I just love being at home <laughs> so much. Let's just set that coffee aside whilst it cools down a little bit. Although I do quite like my coffee piping hot. I'm that sort of person that fresh from the kettle, I'm like, yep. I'm sipping on it already. Let's start with the exciting one. Let's start with Sephora, or as I've been calling it lately in my vlogs, Zephora. <laughs> I wanna say for the first time ever in the UK, obviously I used to live in America, although at that time I wasn't majorly into beauty and skincare. I feel like kids these days are far more into skincare especially than we ever were at that age. So I lived in America when I was about 14 and yeah, I quite liked Bath and Body Works, Ulta we used to go to, or like drugstore, you know, supermarket brands. That was the kind of, like the EOS lip balms. All of the kind of American stuff that you couldn't get in the UK. I was living in America, going to school in the UK. So I was able to get the American stuff from those brands, but yes, Sephora, I'm thinking is more higher end, a bit more luxury, and also quite heavily skincare as well as makeup. And like I said, we just weren't that into it at that age, but kids these days, I don't know where their bank balance is coming from, but wow. Um, it's like Tom's nieces, all they ask for, for gifts and stuff is like, drunk elephant first thing this i think this is the most expensive purchase i made from replica i love their their scents from Maison margiela their perfumes are some of my absolute favorite they do home fragrance as well i've had candles in the past but this is their new scent which is called from the garden as you can tell by that image with a little bowl of tomatoes. The scents are, fragrance description is earth and tomato leaves. I like vine tomatoes from Dalesford. That's kind of the scent. I also got myself a new Tangle teaser. I have the wet one in like a light pink, which I love. And my other one, it's kind of broken. So I use it every day, my Tangle teaser. So I decided to get a new one because as well, they have the beige colored one. Not that that should make a decision 
<laughs> easier, but it did for me. So we have a brand new Tangle teaser. These guys are the best and so much better now that they've got handles as well. Yeah, that feels so much better than the one that I had that's a bit broken. Basically, all of these uh, silicon teeth at the top are all bent. 15 pounds and 50 pence. Then I also picked up a beauty blender, 17 pound 50. I don't know why they didn't create these sooner in this color because it is basically the color of foundation. So it doesn't look as grubby when you use it. It just is always this color. I was very excited to get my hands on this and I had a little try in store just on the back of my hand and wow, it looks like it's gonna be stunning. So this is the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush from Rare Beauty, first ever item owned from Rare Beauty. I mean, apparently it's good enough for Sabrina, whether or not she actually uses this blush, but obviously she has that heavily blushed look that I just think is so nice. And we've got a similar coloring with the blonde, the blue, the darker eyebrows. So the way that she does her heavier blush, I've been getting into, which is basically, instead of just literally doing it on the apples of my cheeks, I kind of drag it across my nose and for like more of a sun-kissed look. So yeah, this color is the one that I went for for. Look at the pearlescent. Oh, it's gonna be so, so pretty. I'll do a little swatch, although it pains me to go straight into a brand new one, but with not much product on my finger there, look at that. I'll have to maybe in my next vlog actually use it and show you it so that you can see it in use. Same with this from Drunk Elephant. I decided to go for the gold drops. I've got the bronzing drops and I do like them, but they definitely add color. Whereas these, I, I think, especially if I'm, if I don't have much tan on and I'm a bit paler, I think these will be nicer for me as a base on more of like an everyday basis. Just show you the tiniest amount because you don't need much. <laughs> it's expensive, so I don't want to waste it. Again, look at the shimmer. Imagine that over your entire face and sort of decolletage area. It just blends out beautifully, but so, so pretty. A real nice sheen, not glittery at all. I wanted to try the Gizu oil. I heard great things. I thought I'd pick up a mini with us going away and we've got like a holiday coming up as well. Oil goes a long way. You only need like a tiny bit, but I'm such a religious user of oil. Moroccan oil is probably my favorite. But yes, I'm yet to try this one. So honey infused hair oil. I will be taking this away with me as a good little travel size. And I tend to just pop that on the ends of my hair. And then speaking of another travel size hair product, the Color Wow Dream Coat. My hairdresser uses this on me and I really like it. So I might purchase the big one, but I thought for now I'll get the travel, take it with me for Hindu wedding, holiday, see how I get on with it. And then if I like it, then I'll get the big full size one as well. Another travel size product to take with me. I always have to have dry shampoo. Even on freshly washed hair, I use dry shampoo. It kind of helps your hair last longer. So I wash my hair once or twice a week. And yeah, as soon as I've styled it, even after freshly washing it, I always just spritz a little bit of dry shampoo in the roots. So this one is the living proof one, really, really good. And then I also got a little mini of the cleansing balm. How cute is this? Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm from Elemis, one of my favorites. Oh, this one smells so good. I'm using the green fig one at the moment in my bathroom, but it's a good little sized pot to have for your makeup remover whilst you go away. And also you can just refill this pot, keep it and reuse it. So yeah, that's that. That's everything that I got from Zaflora. I'll leave all of these items linked below along with the other bits that I'll share with you too so that if you do want to go ahead and purchase any, some of them, not all the links, but some of them have a little commission on there. So that's essentially what affiliate marketing is. If you didn't already know, that's how I do my job as a full-time job. So any link, anything that you purchase through one of my links, I get like, it's usually pennies to a like couple of pounds or whatever, depending on the amount you spend. It's also nice to know for me to be able to track what items that you like and things that seem to be popular through my links. I know that, right, okay, they're into more homeware or they're into more fashion or neutral fashion or colors or makeup, beauty, skincare, whatever it may be. So it keeps me creating content that you guys like. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Selfridges now and show you what I got from there. Charlotte Tilbury and Fenty Beauty. 
I had these both on my list of things I wanted to try. So firstly, from Fenty Beauty, this is called, this is one of their matchsticks and good for contouring. And it's in the shade Amber. So it's a really nice cool toned contour. Uh, I did pop a little bit on my cheeks in store, but it's a really nice, like I say, cool toned bronzer. Look at that. Oh, and you can use it obviously on your eyes, contour. Um, and it's just so, so pretty. It blends out really easily. That is actually from Boots. Fenty, the only place you can shop Fenty in Traffic Centre is Boots. But I really wanted to try the Beauty Light wand. And this one is in the shade. I was torn between Pillow Talk, which is really nice for the cheeks, or this one, which is Spotlight, which is definitely more suited to like a brighter highlight. There she goes. So that's it there. I'll put it on my cheeks so that you can see. Because I love the iconic London illuminating drop. I think this is far easier to blend out. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that highlight. Oh my gosh, I love it. And that with the Rare Beauty blush as well. And I also popped into Kiko. And wow, I have a really, went to all the beauty places today. Um, I got two things from Kiko, two lip products, of which I got number four. It's their 3D Hydra Lip Gloss. Really pretty, again, pinky, but pearlescent -y pinky colour. See, I've always been more drawn to the oranges, but then having done my colour analysis and realised I'm far more cool toned, um, cool light muted is my kind of complexion, so I am better suited to the more pinky shades um, and then I also got this in 402 this lipstick because I thought it was quite a nice um, color to wear as a base if I wanted to wear lipstick with the gloss on top day to day I think I would wear this bit of lip liner and then this my eye lip liner that I like to use at the moment is Charlotte Tilbury iconic nude but again pillow talk is another good color for me <gasps> how nice is that such a pretty shade really really happy with that one from selfridges i also picked myself up a brand new pair of birkenstocks and these ones tom actually showed me he's got some of these new style and i think they look really good and i actually thought when i said to him i thought they'd be better suited to men when i saw them in selfridges i thought oh, let me just try a pair on love them so they are a bit they're kind of like a hybrid between the double strap and the like the Bostons and the Arizonas. This one is a really nice, pretty, kind of like cool toned, cool toned, gray. Um, yeah, like a gray white, I would say. I did treat myself to one other pair of summer sandals because I wore my other ones so much over the last couple of years, the Chloe sandals. I brought out the new colors and I was tempted to get another pair of the ones I already had and I thought that's just silly. <laughs> But the other ones that I have just don't look as fresh anymore. So I'm going to try and have them properly cleaned. Um, but yeah, they are in the sale. So I'll leave those ones linked as well. The cream ones with the black writing. Now the difference with these ones and why they're a little bit more expensive as well. Because they're a newer style, they've got essentially the Chloe part is actually embroidered as opposed to my other ones, my cream with the black Chloe. They, the black Chloe is more like a transfer. Whereas this is actually stitched into the shoe. So yeah, it looks, I feel like it's just got a slightly elevated look to it. I think this one will be, for me, more of a classic, like white summer's dress. I live in white dresses throughout summer. Black as well, black would work really nice with these sandals. Um, navy, which apparently is better suited to me as opposed to black. A little navy dress with these as well and a nice tan bag if ever i'm going to an occasion where i want to be in a sandal it's nice to have a dressier pair as you saw from zara i got this bag which i thought would just be ideal for our sparkly night on the hen do and also just for any other kind of evening occasion it also has like an inner pouch where you can pop your purse your lipstick whatever you want to pop and then within that bag. They had this in black as well. I, I just thought the nude goes with the shoes better. These I'm just in love with. So again, one that I could definitely wear for multiple occasions. And I did size up to a size seven in these. Firstly, I tried them on with my foot um, 
within that part and then as a sling back, which worked, but then I popped on as a strap over the foot, which I think is meant to be that way. Um, it fit better in terms of not gonna slide off my foot, but if you want to wear it that way, you can still wear it that way as well. Then I also popped into Abercrombie and I saw this dress and I thought this would be a lovely dress. One of the nights that we've got for the Hendu is like boho, so linens, that kind of thing. I saw this and I thought, yeah, I'll pick this up. I didn't actually try this on in store though, so I'm going to have to try it on first. Um, and see if I like it on me. But I got it in a medium, adjustable straps. It is linen. It's quite thick though in terms of it's double lined, so it's not sheer at all. And yes, yeah, just a nice short mini with a zip up the side. I think this is gonna be one that I wear quite a lot throughout summer, even just around the house. You know it's a throw up when it's really, really hot and you just want a really light floaty short dress. It's got the stretchy back as well, so nice and comfortable. And yeah, really nice kind of dark, beige that one hopefully that will be my boho night dress i think and i might even wear these again with it or i'll take some flat sandals in case we go a bit more cash the second night and then last but not least i got um a couple of bits from tk max and i actually picked up a dress which i'm thinking to wear with the uh, heels and the bag for sparkle night um, it's just a simple black satiny uh, short again, so a midi, uh, mini sorry dress. It's from Hollister originally. Now it is in a large, but I do think Hollister, well in fact I know Hollister sizing is quite small. I remember from working there we used to say that I think a large was about size 12. So yeah, it, a large is fine for me and I just wanted it nice and floaty and comfy. It's got a kind of crossover strap. Again, the straps are tiny, tiny straps, but they are actually adjustable. And it's just a simple cowl back. It's actually quite similar to the bridesmaid dress that I'm wearing, um, which I got from Abercrombie, um, again in black, because it's a black tie wedding that we're going to. Um, and yeah, but this is like a shorter version. So I thought that, with the glitz will be my sparkle outfit. And then a couple of other bits that I also picked up. Um, some gift cards, or gift bags I should say. I love getting these kind of size gift bags just because they're so handy to have um, gift cards in. You know, if you were to buy a gift card for someone and maybe just a little mini box of hotel chocolate chocolates or something that fit in there, it's just, yeah, really handy to have. And I already have this wrapping paper from Emma Bridgewater downstairs. Um, good for boys, good for Christmas, but yeah, £1.49 that one was. The little blue stars, and then I thought this was so pretty. So it's a set, so you get the gift bag itself, which how gorgeous is that design? Purpley blue, like cornflower blue flowers, um, with some yellow ones in there as well. And then this is just the label. It's like a double layered with a sage green label underneath. And then it comes with a gift card as well. It's from Laura Ashley originally. Um, so yeah, the fact that it comes with the gift card with it as a set, I thought that was lovely. £3.49 that one. And lastly, a candle. And how beautiful is this candle? This I think will burn really, really well in here. Uh, it's Garden Verbena. Do you know what? That will go really nicely with my the rediffuse that I've just bought from R Replica. They did have two of these candles and I was tempted to get both and I'm kind of regretting not getting both now. Yeah, that'll be my next candle to burn in here. 8.99 from Sand and Fog. So there we have it. That's my extensive haul shopping spree that I have done today. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming with me and seeing the new Zaflora. <laughs> I need to stop saying that or else I'm really gonna get confused. But yeah, let me know of these items which is your favorite and if you do shop anything via those links, please do let me know so I can thank you personally and I will love you and leave you. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.